hello in this video I'm going to show you how to move stock by cost some people call it stock movement by cost now there are two ways of moving stock by cost in GPOS version 3 there's the direct movement model and there's also the requisition model I'm going to start with the direct movement model if you log in you go to products then you go to move stock this is the direct movement model. Uh, there's a button here called move stock by cost. So if you hit that button, it will give you this particular prompt. Now, what is first stock movement by cost? And uh, what is even the importance before we proceed? Stock movement by cost is first carried out or done, executed by the stock control person stock control officer if available now we have what these particular stock items which are purchased they get into the main store or whichever store you have in the system and these particular items will be moved directly into the consuming centers consuming heads in this particular case then you're going to move this particular stock by cost I'll give you examples first you have a generator uh, that you are using the power generator power backup generator if you're going to buy fuel for that particular generator if you're going to buy some parts for that particular generator let us start with fuel if you're going to buy fuel then you are going to issue this particular fuel to power generator which is a cost center it is an expense head it is a consuming head right so you are moving this particular item called fuel into the consuming center that is the cost center or the consuming head uh, where it's going to be used so you're not going to take stock of this particular fuel again because you already issued it for consumption direct consumption second scenario is well is a scenario whereby you're working within an hotel and uh, you have got buffets so buffets mainly if you don't do them through recipe then the only other way in this particular system to track their cost is through movement by cost that means i move items or buffet items from the main store these single items from the main store or kitchen store into that particular consuming head the consuming head is an expense head or other people call it cost center and once it is moved into that particular a production or cost center then we are not interested about taking its stock again because it shall have been consumed that is the assumption so I'm going to move this through direct movement form I'll select the store I'm moving these items maybe from the main store I'm selecting my items in the main store I'll just select soda I'm moving um, 20 of that it will give me the cost of movement and this is derived from the purchase price which is calculated through average or latest price or manually updated in the system so that is the cost and then I'll select the cost center or the uh, expense head this is the consuming entity so I'll say I'm just transferring this to maybe a kitchen production kitchen where it's going to be used and that is it I can add my uh, explorations here just say hello world and then just submit that so that shall have moved this particular item by cost and to the cost center remember movement by cost is an expense on its own so this is also layered in our expenses section so if you query our profit and loss report you're going to see this particular movement as an expense in the expense section so that is how I'm going to move by course. I can get that particular list of movements here. So this will just direct movement initially, and this is now the movement by cost that you've done. Now, in this particular expense head, you can have a lot of expense head. You can have kitchen, you can have power generator, you can have any other form of a consuming head or a cost center. That is the first option. Second option is through requisition, the requisition model. If I go to products and uh, hit requisition i'm going to be given this particular form and of course i'll just make a quick requisition from my store uh which store should need only this particular items i'll just say maybe the selling store 
which store should issue main store i'm going to add uh, my solder and i just need five and then i just submit so the person who is doing the requisition especially from the kitchen or from whichever uh, store or department will just do their requis requisitions normally now the person who is approving my account can make and approve so i'm just going to use it to approve this requisition so the person who is approving you come to the action and click view and then you have got something here called the cost center column so if there are multiple items with different cost center different consuming heads or different expense heads then i'll just go selecting okay this should go to kitchen or it should go to power backup generator or it should go to any other expense or just all those particular expenses that you have so once you select that just click fine i'm approving that then you submit it shall have moved those particular sets of items that is in the requisition by cost so that is how you're going to do movement by cost you can take the direction of uh, direct movement especially works when we don't have uh, this particular people to do this particular request maybe from the kitchen or the other department then you have the requisition model which applies if and only if this particular person and you have the personnel to do the requisitions of course categories categorizing them well and then you do approval by selecting the cost centers as well so thank you and stay tuned for our next video